Well, hi there. I'm Christy, the Youth Services Librarian here at the Pierre Marquette District Library in Clare, Michigan. This October, it's been kind of spooky around the library. We've had all kinds of creepy, spooky happenings going on, especially with our junior and senior high book clubs. But don't take my word for it. I'll let my junior high book club tell you in their own words. Something about scary stories. You've probably heard a few, and you might even think you've had a couple of scary things happen to you. Well, you don't really know anything, and we didn't either until one dark night last October. It was the annual Halloween party for our junior high book club, and everything was going smoothly. There were kids dancing and talking about books and playing board games. We were completely oblivious to the danger that lay ahead of us. <laughs> Then someone suggests we play a game with Susie Susie. It's rumored that Susie came to the library a long time ago. She loved to read, and she would stay all day at the library reading to her favorite doll. She loved reading books so much that one day she didn't want to leave. No one saw her as she crept down into the library's dark old basement. No one noticed as she hid in the dark, abandoned hallways, waiting as everyone left. The next day, when they came looking for Susie, all that they found was her doll. And they were never heard from again. Now, when can kids come to the library, it's said you can contact Susie. All you have to do is place a book on the ground and tap it three times while saying Susie's name. If the book opens up, Susie is in the room and she is ready to communicate. You can ask her yes or no questions and she will move her book up for yes and down for no. On the night of the party, we decided to give it a try. We pulled out an old library book and sat on the ground and tapped it three times, just like an old letter. Didn't expect anything to happen, but just like that, the book opened all by itself. <gasps> we were afraid, but we began asking questions anyway. Susie, Susie, are you here with us? In the front. That, that means yes. Susie, Susie, are you still alive? Down, that means no. Susie, Susie, do you mean to harm us? Yes, that means she means to harm us. Run, 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 run. We were terrified after that. We stayed huddled in the corner of the room, not daring to go anywhere near the book that had moved all by itself. <laughs> but that wasn't the end. Before long, we found Susie's doll. No! <laughs> the doll tracked us down. One by one. One by one. One by one. I say, mm-hmm. Might ask, how did all of the 
book clubbers tell that story if they all died in the end? I'm really not sure how that happened. It's been a creepy October. I mean, just listen to what happened to our high school students. It started out one evening as we were having our annual Halloween party at the library. There were no adults in the building because... <laughs> there were no adults in the building because the raptors got out of the basement again. Because they were all on fire. <laughs> because all the floors were getting cleaned. It was just really inconvenient. And then Susan had to go get her dry cleaning. It was, it was just a mess. Everyone was there and we were just settling down to play some board games. One, two, three, four, five. We didn't weep. <laughs> Avery's cheating again! I knew it was! I knew it was! I knew it was! Lie. Stuff your, stuff your lie-filled mouth with pie instead! <laughs> no one asked you! I <laughs> I was pretty sure Avery was doing it. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, who keeps smoking the keyboard? Wait a sec. I didn't do it! But things only got worse from there. Much, much worse. <laughs> All right, now that we found one piece to finish the game. <laughs> I'll be it. No, you cheat. No, I did not cheat. That's how you speak. Okay, I'm done, dog. Guys. Did you bring a dog? Did, I'm pretty, pretty sure dogs aren't allowed in the library. Says the cheater. <laughs> You're such a party pooper sometimes, Avery. <laughs> Don't that. throw things at me. I'm gonna pet it. What was that? Dog? Did someone just, just throw a dog at us and we all conveniently didn't see the perpetrator's face? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> That's it. Now I'm going to go investigate. <laughs> See, I told you. Well, you didn't know what it looked like. You just, you just <laughs> guessed. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we gotta go find her. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's been murdered. What? What? Our friend is dead. That is so <laughs> inappropriate. This is out of hand. I I need to go find adults. I can't handle this. I can't. Okay. Bye. Bye. Look, little duck, he's running away. Carney, not a good idea. Don't run. There's murder on the loose. He's so cute. I'd better run off. Something could happen. Wait, no. No, that's not. That's really hard. And something did happen. Something terrible happened. <laughs> Yeah.